Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with a fairly quiet forecast for the early evening hours. But unfortunately, as we go into the rest of the evening toward overnight and into Sunday morning, we may be looking for the potential of some more areas of rain showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, and also the possibility of some severe weather coming our way as we get into around the early portions of Monday evening. We'll talk about that threat coming up in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. If you've got any reports from in and to and around the area, again, please drop us your location, city, state, and whatever weather reports you've got, and we'll read those out as we go along. Drop those into the comments section. If you've never been here before, again, great opportunity to learn more about Mid-South weather, and if you can't stick around for the whole forecast, you can either read it in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, or you can go to wreg.com slash weather for more information about what's going on in to and around the Mid-South area. Also, if you got any weather pictures, we'd love to see more about what you're seeing around the rest of the area so we can show it to everyone else if at all possible. So drop your pictures to me, aonic underscore WREG3. And also, again, you can email them to me. Again, a great opportunity to send those in at austin.onic at WREG.com. And also, again, going to be doing a lot more with what's going on with weather, where the troops are as we approach Veterans Day, and a look at the Election Day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. So stay tuned for more on that. We're going to be on a little bit late tonight, thanks to the NCAA football going on at this point in time, Alabama versus LSU. So we may be on a few minutes late coming up here in just a little bit. Michael Martindale, snow, yes, actually back to our north, but not really seeing too much of anything in and around the area just yet. But hang on, we may see that a little bit later. Memphis right now, Nancy Lee Laster heading to Chattanooga. Please no rain. I uh, wish I could say no to that, unfortunately, but it doesn't really look that way for right now. Right through the rest of the day, again, as we talked about early this morning, almost spot on where we should be for this time of the year. Very nice out there. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s, right on normal, basically, for this time of the year. So looking very pleasant there. A little chilly this morning, 41 degrees. Average low is 48. Managed to pick up so far an inch of rainfall in the last couple of days, so that bumps us up to over 9 inches for the year for a surplus, and that's doing very nice out there for right now. So dry conditions continue for the time being, but remember, November is the, the rainiest month of the year for the Mid-South area, so we're going to continue to see more chances of rainfall coming up. Ashley Norris, Tornado Watch, not right now, but later could be something like that, so stick around for more at this time. Thressa Solly, Love Rain, Not Severe Weather. I can understand that at this point in time for, again, just trying to be safe out there. Mike Gutilla, 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 sorry about that. Blizzard, no, nothing like that going on, but uh, could be some snow back up around St. Louis. Big River Crossing lit up quite nicely at this time on our Cotton Exchange camera. And looking again at some clear conditions into around downtown, at least where it comes to anything involving rainfall, some more clouds moving our way. And looking at the lights of the river crossing for right now, the mighty lights doing their thing at the top of the hour. And good clear view up river on our tower cam from the News Channel 3 studios in downtown Memphis. So a nice view, lit up pretty nice into downtown for early this evening for the time being. Margaret McLean, what about Covington? We'll give you the forecast for the whole Mid-South coming up here in just a little bit. Rebecca Bagwell, gorgeous sunset in Joseph City, Arizona. Well, if you got pictures, please share them with us. We'll put them on here at some point in time in the near future, so stick around for more on that. Welcome to everybody else who's checking in for this evening. Nothing showing up on Storm Tracker 3S radar yet, but later on tonight, more rainfall coming in from the west. So if you're heading out the door pretty soon for late dinner and a movie or something else going on, may want to think about packing that umbrella with you just to be on the safe side because we will be seeing more rain into very early Sunday morning. We're already seeing more signs of that back out to the west and a lot more cold air diving in behind this next storm system over the Plain States, and that's what could turn some of this area of rain showers as it goes across the mid Plain States into a rain-snow mixture up around I-70. Not for the Mid-South, but again, we'll be watching that over the next couple of days to see what happens there. 56, Batesville and Oxford. Kevin Potts, thank you very much 
for that one, Shelly Adcock Goodwin, how long will the rain last? Will it be gone by lunchtime? We'll take a look at that coming up here in just a little bit. Richard Priestmeyer from Covington, bad weather, it's a possibility. So yes, we'll talk about that in a while as well. Mild out there, the winds out of the south-southeast doing a very good job of keeping the temperatures up by just a little bit tonight. So we will see the numbers knock off a little bit, maybe by a few more degrees, but really not much more than that out there. Running the numbers into overnight, News Channel 3 at 10, again, seeing nothing else in the way of rainfall right now. But as we go toward mid-morning, overnight, mid-overnight, however you want to say that, rain chances from central Arkansas start moving our direction. And by about News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow, that's where we see the rain crossing the Mississippi River and heading into West Tennessee and northern Mississippi. Over spreading the rest of the Mid-South through tomorrow morning. So church, Sunday school, wherever you're going tomorrow morning, a little bit of extra time and not rushing around on the roadways. Paying attention would be a very good idea as that rain sticks around, not only for tomorrow morning, but right on in through tomorrow afternoon. And because of the rain and the cloud cover out there, temperatures tomorrow afternoon might make the lower 60s, but that should be about it. So a little cooler tomorrow before our next storm system, the bigger one, comes in as we go toward Monday and into Tuesday. It looks like the rain will probably be knocking off by a little bit into tomorrow night as those clearing skies make their way on through with some drier air coming on through. Now, no severe weather expected for tonight. Likewise, nothing for tomorrow. Could be the possibility of some thunderstorms into and around areas south of I-40 tomorrow into eastern Arkansas, the metro, and northwest Mississippi. Doesn't look like severe weather, though. But here's where it gets very interesting. That's for Sunday. Here's what it looks like for Monday. Storm Prediction Center placing an enhanced risk of severe weather across the entire Mid South area. Again, that's not exactly a huge outbreak, but it's definitely a lot more active than just a marginal or a slight risk. So this is going to be the bullseye for anything involving severe weather as we go toward late Monday into early on Tuesday. Is this a time to panic? No, absolutely not. Never a good idea. That's not what we do here. And for those of you who like to say that we hype the weather, this is not hype. This is the actual forecast from the Storm Prediction Center. You can look it up for yourself. And as you hear no panic in my voice or no drum beats or dramatic music behind you, I think that as of right now, you can say that I am not hyping anything. I am a professional meteorologist. I don't hype stuff. And the other television station who said that about us, not true. They can say it if they want to, but doesn't make it true. So again, here's what the forecast looks like for now. What this means is a forecast this far ahead of time with this much severe weather in it, two to three days in advance, this is something to pay attention to and to make certain you know a little bit more about what's going on with severe weather before it actually moves our direction. So timing this out as we go into Monday, Monday morning, not that much, maybe a few sprinkles. Lunchtime, more showers expected. And then about News Channel 3 at 6 through News Channel 3 at 10 into around midnight Tuesday. That's where we'll see the best possibility of these thunderstorms making their way through the area, going across the Mid-South and the Mississippi River, and then clearing out as we go toward early Tuesday morning. So what are we looking for? Again, an enhanced threat of severe weather across the entire Mid-South. So from Dyersburg to Oxford, Jackson, Tennessee to Forest City, Arkansas, and the Metro, possibility right now, the main threat of damaging winds, large hail, and the potential, again, of tornadoes. We cannot rule that out at this point in time. And once again, this is what the forecast is telling us. This is not us jumping up and down and causing what some would call hype. This is what we're looking for. So again, the potential for severe weather is going to be there in the next several days. This is what we're going to be watching for. Now, timing things out as we go into and around the early evening hours of Monday, 6 through 10 p.m., west of the Mississippi River, through about News Channel 3 at 10, moving across the Mississippi River, through the metro area, West Tennessee, northwest Mississippi, and then clearing the area past about midnight on Tuesday, heading over into Middle Tennessee and northern Alabama. But once again, that threat of tornadoes needs to be taken seriously. Again, this is a potential out there. It's not a guarantee, but it's looking a lot better that we may see again that type of severe weather out there. Rest of the day tomorrow, showers for the most part knocking off as we go toward evening hours. Hopefully not a soggy rain out for the rest of the day, but today was much better for outdoor activities than tomorrow is going to be. Showers possible on Monday morning 
Better possibility of showers and thunderstorms as we go toward afternoon and evening. And the strongest possibility of weather is going to be around dinner time Monday. Now, here's another important thing. Election Day coming up on Tuesday. There will be that chance of showers and thunderstorms about the time the polls open. But that should be dwindling to just showers and then clearing out by the time the polls close. If you have not voted yet, do not let the weather be an excuse. Every election is important, so please make certain to get out and cast your ballot. If you have not done so already, like a good citizen should, head out and get that ballot cast. Again, weather should never be an excuse for, again, not casting your ballot out there, so please keep that in mind. Safety first, safety always, naturally, but once again, if you haven't voted yet, make certain you cast your ballot on Tuesday. Cooling off into next week, we'll get rid of the rainfall for Wednesday. A few more showers late Thursday into early on Friday, and pretty chilly out there. Highs only in the lower to mid-50s, lows dropping into the mid to upper 30s by next Saturday morning. Veterans Day next Sunday, and Veterans Day observed on the following first full day for the federal holiday. That, again, looks pretty cool, and we've taken the rainfall potential out of the forecast as we go into around the Veterans Day holiday. So, again, great weather out there for any dedications, remembrance ceremonies, any thank you ceremonies out there. And again, thank you to everybody who has worn the uniform of their country doing their duty. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for doing so. Very nice of you to do so. Again, uh, keeping an eye on what's going on for the changes in weather. Might get a little cooler. Hopefully the rain stays away for Veterans Day. We'll keep you updated on that over the course of the next several days. As of right now, again, things are very quiet in the tropic at this point in time. So we're not seeing too much of anything else in the way of problems for right now. Gulf, Caribbean, and Atlantic is quiet. And according to the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center, doesn't look like we're going to be seeing much of anything coming up in the next several days. So very good news. Less than a month to go until hurricane season is over with. It ends December 1st. So hopefully things will remain quiet into the next several days. Some great pictures out there. We asked, you answered, and thanks to everybody for sending these in. CC in charge 62, beautiful view from sunrise this morning with a fading crescent moon in the upper portion of the picture from Cuba Landing, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that one. Sherry B. Ware from Salisbury, Tennessee. Nice uh, sunset, I'm assuming, out there. Not too sure exactly if that was sunrise or sunset out there, but thank you very much. And Reb Alert. Enjoying the pictures of the uh, Ole Miss live cameras out there that we featured on Daybreak this morning and responding with a nice bit of sunshine, keeping an eye on the emergency uh, management area of the University of Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for sending that one in. Lynn Frank, sunrise from Highway 14 and 59 in Tipton County from earlier in October. Thank you very much for that one. Scott Jarvis, a nice double shot here, one from Sunday evening, getting the smoker going in the backyard and a nice view of sunset, I believe, from around Banner, Mississippi, a couple of days ago. Thank you very much, Mr. Jarvis, for that one. And also, Wendy Joe Latham Thurner, thank you very much uh, for that picture of Old Glory in around Henning, Tennessee, earlier last week. Thanks to everybody for sending in some marvelous pictures. If you've got them, email them to me, or again, drop them to any of my social media networks, and we'd love to see them and feature them like we did just here. So again, if you've got them, send them in, and we'd love to see them out there if at all possible. If you're in Memphis and Shelby County, coming up this Thursday, the opportunity to learn more about severe weather by getting ready for it and with a program called Skywarn, taught by the National Weather Service in Memphis. If you'd like to know more about this, it's available at wreg.com slash weather and also at weather.gov slash meg. It'll be held at the Emergency Operations Center on Mullen Station Road. Registration is required for this. It's not going to cost you anything. It's totally free, but the National Weather Service just needs to know just how many people are going to be attending so they can get the rooms all set up and make certain that they're not going to overflow status. So if you'd like to attend, space is limited, so register as soon as you can. Again, and this is one of the websites you can go to or go to weather or wreg.com slash weather for more information on that. All right, one more check of the weather before we wrap things up. Seeing showers developing overnight. 
And again, don't forget at this point in time that it's going to be a little sloppy in the morning possibly, so a little bit of extra time as we see again some fairly wet conditions out there throughout the rest of the day into the evening hours. Catch my forecast on the radio on the East Arkansas broadcast network stations throughout the rest of the weekend. And of course, I'll have more on weather where the troops are as we near Election and Veterans Day. We'll take a look at that coming up in just about a half an hour on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter feeds as well. Don't forget, tonight Again, daylight saving time comes to an end, so don't forget to switch those clocks. Fall back one hour tonight. Don't forget to change the batteries in your smoke detectors, and as an added bonus, change the batteries in your weather radio. Always have another way to get your weather information. It's always a great idea to have spare opportunities out there to listen in on weather. Cell phone, TV, radio, internet, but also that weather radio can be a life-saving piece of equipment, so please remember to change the batteries in that as we all remember to fall back one hour tonight as daylight saving time comes to an end. Thanks to everybody for checking in, everybody from across the Mid-South and beyond for the area. Again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the evening. We will be on possibly a little bit late tonight thanks to the NCAA football game going on at this time, so stay tuned for the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10 coming up later. And again, if you've got weather pictures or weather reports from around the Mid-South, tweet them to us or send them to us on our social media pages, and we'd love to be able to see more of you on there. And of course, we'll have more on weather where the troops are coming up on our weathercast online at 845 give or take, uh, coming up a little bit later on this evening, so stay tuned for more on that. Thanks for joining us tonight, and stick around for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the early edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us tonight.